Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of my Morrowind Let's Play. At uh, the end of the previous episode, well let me see, I finished the episode a little quickly because I was eager to fix a bug. Uh, well, more more an exploit with uh, my miner and I could ask him to give me ore as much as I wanted. So that's been fixed uh, and I've also uploaded um, a hot fix on the Nexus. Uh, fixing a couple of mistakes that had been pointed out to me, so thank you for that. Now, uh, as you can see, look at them, matching. I have done a bit of uh, tidying in my inventory. I mean, it's still, you know, quite full. But right now, poor comes by road is carrying, well, more than he can. I'm going to have to drag him, and teleport him to a trader and then I'm gonna sell everything I can maybe I'll be able to afford a better weapon not to mention that the one I have is uh, well not that great and really damaged 165 out of 800 and the second weapon that I have is not much better I think condition or oh, it is a bit better anyway I have been wanting to buy a, a better weapon a better enchanted weapon Maybe even a cool looking one, that'd be, that'd be nice. Um, I, I am wearing also new armor and uh, I hesitated for a long time between the, the cave bear cuirass and the, the beautiful blue one, uh, something. In the end, I decided to be reasonable and take the cave bear cuirass because 76 armor. But you know what, as I was uh, starting the recording, I noticed, wait for it. Yeah, but crack, really, I can't do that. I mean, it's ugly, can't imagine that's going to be too good running around in the snow. So I'm going to have to run quickly to my uh, weapon display room. Weapon and armor, I haven't placed too much on display really, just the armor that I wish to keep or display later on. But I'm going to have to take the, the prettier one that doesn't have good armor, that one. Because butt crack is just not an option. So there, it looks quite okay with that. But then the boots don't work. I guess I could go for these, they're medium. Armor 32, it's not too bad. So, female mannequin, you can wear this instead. Thank you. Now, uh, you have a butt crack problem, but that's not my problem, and I'll just have to not look that way. It's a bit creepy how the mannequin follows, you know, me, or in that case, Spot. This guy has all the other armor. I gave him row because I have, you know, chest armor and boots and nothing in between so that just looked too bad so he's wearing a robe for now right now I want to sell stuff and I think the best place to do that is Balmora I mean that's easy we know the stores and uh, most importantly I can get there quickly though you know what I mean, I can take that, or I can walk to Balmora and give that down letter that I've been carrying around. Yes, that one, the letter from Nelos. I guess I might as well get rid of that. So let's run. Not to mention, if I'm lucky, I'll make a couple of fun encounters. Bandits trying to get a hundred gold from me. Really, they should better coordinate, you know, warn each other not to ask for money from me, or team up. Ah, that could be a suggestion to the, the mod author. That being say, when I meet a bunch of the, the hostiles, well, that's tricky enough. And right now I'm running around on my own, so better be careful. Unfortunately, I still don't have the 30k, I think, to start my own inn business in Pelagia. There was a guy offering me 
to start my own in business, but I just don't have the the money right now. This is the Pali that asked me to retrieve the silver bowl. Yes, it's Belluel's silver bowl. Go ahead, stranger. I got it. Yes, Pierre Net. And he's looking for it, but it's not like he wants it. I'm not sure who to give it to. I guess I'll have to be careful if I meet someone called Pierre Net. Maybe it's an NPC from the game that I don't really know. But I did have a good look around um speaking of the hostiles around Ebenhardt. And and I didn't see well I was looking for Belluel, but I don't remember seeing Pierre Net either. Yes, I'm um, being particularly cowardly. I already fought those guys. I mean that's where I got the there she is. That's where I got the ball in the first place and there was that horrible Nord in there with his heavy warhammer that was just killing me. Uh, must find the bandit. Here's your note. He gave you a letter to give me. Yes, he did. Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared, you know. You didn't have to do all of this for me. <laughs> and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend Barnard Erily in Tel Branora. He's a wonderful person. I think the two of you would get along famously. Okay. I have a journal update. That's good because I will never remember. And for now, let's run to Balmora. Hello, you. You're pretty ugly on chat. And you're stuck in your animation. At least he was friendly. Well, maybe not friendly, but not aggressive. That's something. Let's, uh, let's get off the, the path. Because I've already run along the path, so... You know, just for a bit of a change, and we can... Uh, improve our athletics, absolutely. Top of the world. The bridge is right over there. You know, the weather is nice. Picking up a few flowers. Unawares of the dangers ahead. Well, then again, this area should be pretty safe. I don't know how far I am from leveling up. Hello bunnies. Let's have a quick look. Not too far. Looking pretty cool, I think. It's a shame I don't have the, the pauldrons that go with the with the greaves. That'd be good. Right now I'm running with a uh, one bone mold. Hmm, I wouldn't be able to equip the second one because of my backpack. Though weight is a bit less of an issue now. So I guess yes, I could friend. give the backpack to someone else. Alright, um, I've been trading with this one. So hopefully she likes me well enough. Summoning my companions. Good, good, good. Yes, thank you, Constance. I don't think you have anything I want to sell. Oh yes, but she wanted to chat. So let's do that. I mean, the store is as good as a place. Though really we should go to the inn. Well, never mind. Let's chat. 
you have met my uncle's friends Fargoth, haven't you? Uh, I bet everyone has ever been said yes, everybody knows Fargoth. What was your impression of him? A uh, very likeable fellow, <laughs> charming and versatile. I don't know that he's very likeable. A filthy little thief, that's really unfair, seeing as, you know, he got things stolen from him. Not very different from other wooders I've met, that sounds a little racist, so we're gonna go with that. Fargoth, charming and versatile. <laughs> oh no, then I, I don't buy that. If you know him that well, why don't you tell me more about him? Well, he is nice, sort of. When I arrived in Sidonin, he and my uncle actually took good care of me, taught me. Well, a little of this and a little of that. Not that they knew much that I didn't know already, and they always managed to get me into trouble. That's interesting. Can you prove? No, let's not throw accusations. Tell me more. Now, let's see. Well, there was the story with the love potion, of course. Uh, love potion. Were you drinking them or selling them? Let's just go with the non committal. Uncle Balgoth and Fargoth somehow came across a supply of love potions. I don't know how, but I'm mighty sure they had stolen it from one of the ships arriving at Sidonine. They started to trade the potions and obviously they were a success. At least I believe so, because the married woman of Sidonine suddenly started to give Uncle and Fargoth flowers and gifts and other tokens of appreciation. And the husbands, who normally hated these two thieves, started to shake their hands and pat their backs. Continue. Yes, it was quite nice. Sorry, it was quite a nice time. I traded some love potions too, of course. I especially remember this middle-aged imperial woman married to a 90-year-old ex-soldier. She used to look so disillusioned and tired, but once she had bought the love potions, she flourished, her cheeks were blushing, and she almost danced over the streets of Sidonin. I like the streets, plural. That's uh, quite a word for Sidonin. Anyhow. I'm not sure if she really gave the potions to her hubby, though. There were these two imperial guards who started to dance two steps behind her. Continue. Wherever she went, they followed. So, well, I guess she might have given them the love potions instead. Anyway, so far so good, but everything good has an ending. And finally, we ran out of love potions, and that's when my uncle and Fargoth came up with this amazing idea. They should start to produce their own love potions, and I should purchase the potions from them. Sorry, for them. Purchase or sell? I'm guessing sell. Not sure. So what happened? I bet it was a success. I bet it was a disaster. At first, it seemed to be a success. Valgoth and Fargoth, of course, tried out the brew very carefully themselves. In fact, I had to spend my nights in an old boat as Fargoth's shack got quite nosy with all the female guests howling with happiness. Right? But after a week, the side effects started to show up. Side effects? The first thing I noticed was this imperial lady I mentioned before suddenly had, well, a beard. Then I noticed that the imperial guards had very, very long hair. Soon after, it became obvious that also my uncle and Fargoth were experiencing the same side effects. Their whole bodies got covered with hair. The problem got worse. After a while, everyone in Sidonin looked like a half Khajiit. With hair and beard, all the way down to their knees. Ouch indeed. Ouch is indeed the right comment here. It didn't take long before people realized that their new furriness was caused by the love potions. They went completely mad, of course. They dragged down Falgoth and Balgoth and dipped them in tar and feathers and had them run around the, sa the Sidonin marketplace like that. They wanted to do the same thing to me, of course, but I hid inside the lighthouse. I didn't dare show up for a couple of weeks. 
By then, things had luckily calmed down, the side effect had disappeared and people started to look normal again. But my uncle obviously had an overdose of these potions because ever since he had been forced to cut his hair twice every day, else it would probably have covered all of Satan in by now. I think the Imperial Lady had some kind of overdose as well. I heard she ran off with the circus and as far as I know she's still performing as the bearded lady. You never tried out those love, love potions yourself. No, she's too smart for that. Me? Ha, huh, never. I know that anything my uncle and Fargoth do undoubtedly get me into trouble and besides, I'm far too young and innocent. Yes, dear Constance, of course. Yes, actually, I am. I believe you. You do good, and you know what? You are a good listener. I think you are a much better listener now than when we first met. By listening to Constance's endless rambling, you have improved your endurance. Sweet. Nice. Um... Assistance. Help find a key, hostile creatures. Yes, charm this person, but... Before that, I really should get comes by road. Oop, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Comes by road. What the do you I ask wanted. of me? Except What do you ask of me? Now all the stuff I have to sell. Uh, normally, I'm, I keep the enchanted items, but since I got two of these, I can sell it, and that's quite a bit of money. The, the spear that's for comes by road, even though he doesn't fight, he's got a cool looking weapon anyway. Come on. This is only gonna take a few minutes. Now you see why he couldn't follow me very well. So much. Uh, Five thousand. It's quite good armor as well. Maybe I should keep it. I mean, it's better than that. It's not better looking though. Okay, I'll see. If there's a really good weapon that is going to be very pricey, no doubt, then I'll sell it. If not, then I'll just keep it. Just I put it in the in the armor for sale because it's a vanilla armor, so not not worth collecting. But then the defense is quite good. I could use it. Go on. Ah, uh, damn it! I realize now I'm carrying all of my yes. So it's a good thing I sorted the potions into the ones I wanted to keep and the one I wanted the ones I wanted to sell. I have now put all of them together again. Same thing with the scrolls. Oh well never mind. Thank you, Constance. Go ahead. Help me charm this person over there. Thank you. I believe I had a scroll of um, personality. Um, dum -dum -dum. Heartwise, is it? Yes. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? There we go. We'll look at her, how she likes me. Let's bribe her. Oh, yes. And now, let's trade. She's got 700. And weapon wise, that's something that I've sold actually. That is a long blade. 4,800. And the enchantment is not bad. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tempting. Let's uh, first sell the things. Let's start with the slightly cheaper ones. Just 
Do you think she'll... Yes. Oh, mercantile 6. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not that much. Now I should actually... I mean, she's got a number of enchanted stuff. I'm not going to buy that. Because I, I should have a dozen lying around the fighter's guild. I need to go to the fighter's guild. Shame. Shame ring. Well. Sorry. Wrong program. Uh, fortify enchant. I'm not enchanting. Blind. Meh. Well, mine is constant, so... Thank you. I could buy this one to add to my collection of robes. Summon a ghost. Mm, light. I have that. Wait a second. I got both equipped? That really doesn't make sense, does it? Oh no, because I'm buying it. It's it's weird, for a second it really looked like three thousand Yeah, I can't do it without um, without selling this one. I mean, it's not like my potions are particularly pricey. Oh, no, this spell I like. Thank you. Then keeping that, no intention to. I'm keeping those for you know, it's a souvenir, shall we say? No intention to salt trap anyone. Could be handy. That could be handy. Be handy as well. All right, eight hundred for my cool-looking blade. It looks like a double blade type. I think it's fair. However, since you like me so much, uh, and now I have uh, six mercantile. Yes. Not bad. So I got rid of all my extra stuff. Yeah, I'm not too sure how she fights with that as a one-handed weapon. But she'll work it out. Okay, everyone. You can move. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, don't they look cute like that? Matching. So, fighter's guild, I'm gonna get a couple of hammers so I can fix my weapons. And and I think I had to turn in a quest as well, so... So let's do that. Turn the quest in. Yes, I did go there, indeed.
Huh, it's a good thing I didn't spend all of my money. Would you like to promote me? I'm a protector. Uh, well, sure. Give me some um, orders. A bounty on an orc. Jura Grabon. Is that the one here in uh, in Balmora? Wow. 250 septims to murder someone in their home. Welcome. Please don't That's be shy. Um, I'm listening. Not very glorious. So, no hammer. I'm sure I dropped them off uh, in, uh, in Vivek. Well. I mean, I have a new weapon. It's not going to break just now, I don't think. Shall we go murder that poor orc? Uh, it's a bounty and it's an outflow. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of those houses here on the right. Whatever you're looking for. Maybe even the first one up there. Let's do this. I really would like to have a, a little more proof as to the the guilt. Can you? Why you sure have very fancy Say hair? Say your words. And also, she's too pretty for an orc. So your name is Danae, and I'm new here. Well, I've been here a while. Do you have anything to tell me about? You know, accusations, barbarian specific place. Someone like you. Okay. Your trade? You're a barbarian. <laughs> that doesn't look good on a CV, does it? Give me a secret. I'm innocent. If someone doesn't attack you first, oh, the irony of that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is just too cruel. If you're considering a mercenary career, the fighter's guild isn't too choosy. <laughs> well, you know what? So nice of you to send me there because they, they want me to kill you. Mm -hmm. That's you? What? You're wasting my time. That's that's rude. I mean, I know I'm here to kill you, but... Sorry. Don't I, Constance? Ooh. Have to be extra careful. I mean, uh, that's three feet. D you know what? I'm not gonna steal any of your things. I mean, it's bad enough I killed you. However, and please don't take this personally, I saw you had a chest and I thought I could practice. Any time now. There we go. Oh, you see, I don't have that skirt. All of a sudden, I feel so much better about the murder. You don't have anything to say? You don't yes. mind me attacking someone? What's wrong with you? Yes, um... I shall give you... Oh, wait. You want me to have a potion? No, I think I need to give you a potion and then you drink one. Condition? Yeah, take a healing potion. Still, well that was not very good, was I? Still below 40%. We're gonna sleep and comes by road we'll be able to heal her, I think. 
just as soon as I report my successful um, murder. And then I was looking at my journal and really I think the place where I have the most quests now is Vivek. Even though Vivek is so large, so... So I'll have to consider going back there. Yes. Duragrabal is dead. Well, thank you, I feel so... Perform more duties. Well, give me some. You want me to? Okay, I love the Easterner has seen orc outlaws near his farm. Another one, that's the one close to Pelagiad. I mean, around the lake. I have a contract from Duke Dren himself to investigate the orcs at a Daedric ruin. Now that's getting serious, isn't it? Take care of the problem, go to Alof's farm. Yes. And just north, we can tell you where the orcs are and what needs to be done. Like, you can't say it yourself. You choose to share your time with me. You talk too much, Alphanda. Let's get a bed for the night. No, not you. Tell your friends My time is purpose. precious, so make it quick. Bed for the night, please. Thank you. Gonna get a good night's sleep. Like eight hours. I think that's fair. So, come by road, we'll have his magicka and I dream. In your dream, a tall figure with a golden mask re greeted you saying, there are many rooms in the house of the master. Be easy, for from the hands of your enemies I have delivered you. It seemed you had died and could see yourself laid upon a table lit by candles. But with your own hands you touched the figure, and the figure drew breath, opened eyes, and rose from the table. Then the room was gone, and the world was filled with light as you awoke. I'm gonna go on a leave and say that I haven't actually rested you know an extra hour after the nightmare i think i deserve it no way <sighs> you dreamed that a tall figure with a golden mask it sounds so familiar spoke to you but you understood not a word he smiled and seemed pleasant but when he reached to touch you it terrified you and you tried to escape but you couldn't move you tried to cry out but you couldn't make a sound the figure kept smiling and talking but you felt sure he was trying to cast some sort of spell on you when you walk you couldn't recall how the dream ended okay every time it's gonna be an extra hour yes I actually rested Comes by road. For Questions. Good. Yes, healing. Would you I'd appreciate if you watch over me? No, he's already watching over my companions, apparently. Anyway, silly me, I rested, so. Yes? Yeah, she's good. We're all good. Right, I've shot. I have a weapon. There it is. With an enchantment that may very well kill my companions. I really have to be careful. And Spit now I need to decide what to do. Vivek. Yeah, Vivek. Even though it's such you a large place. I, must be going. I could go either way. I had... What did I have? I still have to investigate the, the murders. Oh, my, my, my. Don't you look fancy. Still have to. Sorry, I got distracted by a pretty Spit dress. Out or hit the road. No, not you. Yes. Take my place, thank you. There we go. So I still have to find the murderer. Look around the Hlalu Canton. 
Uh, then I still have a potion to deliver. That was by the temple, I think. Um, I got someone to kill in Redoran. That's one of the Reds. And I think I was given the... I was given the quest to... Let me find it. This one. To stop the slender. And I did find a guy here in Balmora and I made him agree. I think I bribed him a lot, <laughs> mostly. And now I need to go back to Faral Retharen. And I believe that's a quest I got in the Vivic um, Redoran Canton. But I'm not really, really sure. And it doesn't say, so... So there's only one way, you know, just go there. Yeah, so travel to the Epic Guild of Mages. Did I have a quest from the Fighters Guild Stay there? Out of trouble and you won't get hurt. You what I'm not a member, so there. Still not buying that pretty dress. Yeah. I hope you're amazed by my growing willpower. No, don't want to try. Thank you. So, Guild of Fighters, that I'm looks waiting. just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sorry, getting distracted by pretty dresses and fancy hairdos. Step one. Grab some hammer. Z. I really use as many as I can. There we go. How heavy is that? Not too heavy, I'm gonna keep them. Having the potions. Did you well nice you, to see you certainly friend. have a gorgeous tattoo there? Yes, I am a protector now, so Respect. Uh, I could afford I've one of these. I've rarely seen one as lovely as you. Please ask your question. I mean, oh yes, there we go. <laughs> these are the greaves, obviously. The, the armor rating is over the roof. The price as well. I mean, 10k. I'm not there. Even if I sell, if I sell this one, so just as well. And they they, they do Care look to a little too shiny. Just a tiny bit shiny. And the panties. Yeah. Sorry, the greaves. What was the quest? Uh, kill a. Do not fear. No, he's not dead I yet. Because I don't remember you, where he is. However, I can. Vivek sent on, so around. So many people to kill around here. I'm gonna go first to the Red Run. I'm waiting for you. If you want something, now's the time. Oh, I was not even careful, but these are okay. They're not actual. In the realm. So the ordinators are not gonna try and kill me for that. So, shortest way to the Red Run Condon. Sort of straight ahead. I'm gonna have to find a way to go down though. Well, there's no bridge on that side. Do I risk it? I want to risk it. <laughs> well, I mean, well, quick saving, obviously. Ah, 
You don't let me risk it. Wow, safety in Vivek. Pretty good. Which Okay, I shouldn't have. I was curious if I could pull that off already. Clearly, I cannot. Now we know. Hmm. I need to find the name of the, the guy I need to execute in uh, in Vivek Veteran. What do you mean you have little magicka left? We, we slept for hours. Questions. And, and really I'm very dubious about the... I mean they were cheap, granted, but still. That's two points, that's ten points of magicka. Now let's see. Uh that would be in spells. You have zero magicka left. Take a magicka potion. I do think it's needed. Take it. Takes five seconds. It wants something. What does it spells? ask? Zero magicka left have one of mine and apparently you must have used all of them I will check have one of mine okay what do you ask of me so okay drunk all of that magica zero you have a drinking problem just saying so if I want to restore his magicka, I'm gonna have to nap for I don't know how many hours. Yeah, navigating in the dark. Oh, yes I know, I have to go through the, the waste work, don't I? Because this goes up. Quite frankly, I can't see much anyway. This is already the lower waste work. me to the cannon work. So there had to be a way, I just couldn't see it because of the darkness. I'm waiting. You are waiting. That's to go up. So the way down had to be there. I'm sorry, it's just like, well, I don't like that part much. Yes, there we go. That should be it. And we want to go up. I'm going to assume the the noble, the red run noble that gave me the quest was in the plaza. And I need to check the name of the guy that needs to be killed. could be somewhere up there, that'd be nice. J 
journal. Wait for that's him. Taurus Saren in the plaza. Nice. In his home, Saren Manor. Saren Manor. Is that you? Is there something I can you do? You have for fancy you? robes, so that's. I'm not saying it's a good reason to kill him. Just saying it's it's a, it's a perk. How strong do you think he is? Um. If you could, no, you people move back. Move. May I help you? Move. Move. I'm just a little worried that they're gonna die. Constance. Yes. We're watching you scum. Can we meet up somewhere? Somewhere, you know, where I'm not going to kill you. There, there's the move option. Maybe it's in there. No, 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 no. Assistance condition drink follow. Oh, meeting places. No. Do whatever you like. Do you think I'm gonna have to go pick her up in um in jail? Where do I send her though? Um Nisus, I still have to cure the the queen there, the the Kwama queen. And now I know that the headman is in one of the cave dwellings. That's someone that gave me the tip on YouTube. I forgot the name, sorry, but thank you for the tip nonetheless. So maybe yes, Balmora, uh, I would be there eventually. Aldrin, I do have a quest to turn in and a husband to find and someone's home to invade to find some Dwemer artifacts but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this one that way it gives me another reason to to go there now it comes by road come this way thank you stay there Can we hurry this up? Hello? You I mean, in Oh, wow. But I just wanted to check if you had interesting things to say. I will take you. <laughs> just go away. Oof. All at once, wishing that... Uh, comes by road, had his magic hat. Dead? You not be dead. You be dead. My journal has been updated. None dare to report my actions. Not even my friend who saw it all happening. So nice. Constance is going to like that. I did like the robe, so thank you. You have two of these shirts, you don't need them. And restore health is always good feeling pretty good about myself right now. Second thing I have to find... Um, what was his name? Doris... So, no, that was Doris Siren. So the other one. Farah something who may be in a... Well, the Siren Mana is really Speak taking a lot of space up here. Drusana... Red around, maybe at the red around treasury. So, may I help you? Faral Ratherin, I did stop the slenders. Got a holy shield, thank you. Um, can you give me duties? You can give me duties, Mo. that's interesting. I thought it was just, you know, one off quest. So the last of the Redder's family line has bequeathed the family's belongings to House Redoran. 
I need someone to recover the family treasures in the reddest tomb. <laughs> That's an interesting donation. Please go plunder the tomb of my ancestors. While I keep the goodies already out. Where is the tomb? Okay. Concentration there. To go to the Redus ancestral tomb and bring me the Redus war axe, the chalice and the robe of deeds. The tomb is just south of Molagmar. Never been to Molagmar, I don't think. So that's my only quest there. I'm writing down Molagmar, south of it. You'll have to go around the mountain. So I'd suggest following the mountain west and then following them back east. The tomb is in the side of the mountain near the Ashlander camp. The Ashlanders there are not known to be hostile. Near the camp. Gotcha. So if you can give me quests, can you also promote me? You should talk a lot though. I guess not. Well, thank you for that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Not gonna go down without a reason to. Okay, so that's two quests done in Vivek. Since I'm um, apparently dedicating this episode to various assassinations, I think I should go to St. Orms and look for the Khajiit. It'd be nice, and uh, I was gonna say it would be nice if there's some daylight now, but no such luck. St. Orms is that way. May I help you? Oh, gonna have to go down. Ah, oh, no. Got a set a bridge. Yes. So that should be Saint Delin, I think. Did I know specifically where he is? That's a fighter's guild. He's hiding somewhere in Vivek. If I don't find him with all of that, let's start with the... Uh, no, I want to check the, the houses first. That's the way it's work. There should be a couple here and, and then on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hello. Just stopping by. Would you have something of interest to say? I have, indeed. It is huge. So nothing new there. No. Sorry I... for, you know, barging a new house. That's... To go to the waste work. Let's check the four houses. There's one with a ghost, I think. You are not the person I'm looking for. Not hairy enough. I know I haven't seen all of it, but I can tell. Nice robe you've got there. Speak, traveler. Just saying. So, let's have a look at the waste work. We're looking for drawers, a car, or something. 
tailors and dyers. I mean, you wouldn't be hiding in a, in a shop. I mean, I'll have a look. Which is why I thought one of the, the smaller accommodations was a, a more logical Speak place. Traveler. That gives me, that puts me in the tunnel. I mean, not the tunnel, but the, the corridor. Yes. Fishmonger. And hiding in the in Speed the sewers. Travel. That's so cliche, you know. Maybe someone. There's a Khajiit in one of the homes, uh, south side canal. It looked very suspicious. And I'm north, sorry. And also, I've checked them, so I'm gonna go further down. But not the canal works. How do I. Okay. Let's go further down because I've already checked those. If my, you know, mercantile increased as fast as my acrobatics. Hello. Speak traveler. Nice bread. I think it's vanilla. South too. Yeah, you look like you could be the one I'm looking for. You want some? Yep. So it comes by road. I don't want you to die. So you're gonna wait outside. This warm blood has questions. Just wait here. Yes. Oh yeah, I really have to remember to pick him up because he now he's not no in my companion list. Let's talk. But really, it's just bad for you. You're you, yes. If I ask you about... No, you can't send me to the Guild of Fighters. Recommend I join them. But maybe... You do not know about such thing. Well, sorry. Boy, I never stood a chance. And you know what? You can keep all of your belongings. I will take the ingredients. I'm not going to collect the logs anymore because I know very well I'm not going to make some furniture. Not when I can live in a Solstheim castle. Job yes. well done. Your Hello. Turn to talk. Hours to Follow listen. me. Really, trust me, you didn't need to see that. Right. So, I've done some shopping. Got myself a seriously dangerous weapon. So, oh, it matches with my greaves. Perfect. So dangerous that I can't fight with my companions around small detail. I successfully murdered or executed people. One for the Moratong, one for the Fighters Guild. A little more suspicious, I give you that. I think that's uh, not bad. Not bad for, for
for an episode. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you next Monday for the next episode. Bye bye.